Yo, what's going on YouTube? Trick D back again, back again. So this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to talk about something that I really don't like talking about, but it's kind of sad that we're in 2020 and it's still a thing. So uh, I'm going to try not to make this video too long so that I know half of y'all don't even watch the full videos anyway. But anyway, I was uh, reading a post on uh, Facebook. It was about these um, Indian brothers, Indian brothers who came, you know, to this country basically with nothing, and um, they ended up, you know, starting their own trucking company. They ended up, um, you know, they started small, and now they own, I think, like fifteen trucks or whatever. So they're doing their thing. And I was reading like the comments on Facebook, and most of the comments on there, you know, instead of people, you know saying, good job, you know, congrats, you know, most of the comments were negative, you know, you got people saying, you know, y'all don't belong over here, or minorities, or taking over the jobs and trucking, and that comment that I just said, minorities taking over trucking, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, I've actually heard, you know, people say that on the CB quite often, you know, you got all these, you know, you know what's taking over, and... If you're coming to truck if you're a racist, don't even bother coming out here because I hate to break it to you. A big percentage of the truck drivers out here are of other ethnicities. You know, it's not like back in the old days where it's mainly, you know, white people out here. Nowadays, you got a lot of whites, blacks, you know, Hispanics, Indians. Now, this post, you know, these guys were Indian. I think they were uh, Sikhs like from India. And, um... You're going to notice, like, when you come out here, especially, like, when you go into the Northeast and, like, out West, especially California, you're going to see a lot of Indians out there. Like, the guys you see with the, um, I don't know what ethnicity, I think they're Sikhs, I think, or Punjab or whatever. But they're the ones you see with the long beards and the turbans. So when you go out, like, out West, especially, like, California, you're going to see a lot of those guys. And if you notice, most of those guys, you know... They're not working for mega carriers like how we Americans are. A lot of them are like owner operators. A lot of them, you know, own their own trucks, own their own business. And it's kind of sad that like Americans, you know, a lot of Americans, they hate, you know, on the minorities, you know, because these guys, you know, the people from other countries, you know, they come over here, they work hard, you know. That's just the reality. You know, they come to this country, you know, they open up businesses, restaurants, and they're doing the same in the trucking industry, you know. They're not doing anything that, you know, that we can't do. You know, they go to the same truck dealerships. They go to the same places to buy a trailer. So if they can do it, there's no reason why Americans can't. And it's kind of sad that, you know, these people, you know, that have hate in their heart, hate, you know, on these people, you know, because they have to you know, provide for their family just like how you do, you know? It's crazy. And I don't know if you guys remember, I had said, I think it was like my second video that I made. I think it was about the 240 hours back when I was in the training phase. I had said that I had two trains. The first one, he was awesome. And I had said that I didn't really care for the second train, I didn't really go too much into details as to why I didn't care for him. But for the sake of this video, fuck it, I'm gonna just get into it. So, um, this guy, by the way, he was a uh, Hispanic, but he was one of those guys that act like he was, you know, just he act like he was a country white boy, you know. That's just what it was. He act like he was a country white boy, but he was Hispanic. And I remember because we were in um, Connecticut at the uh, Whole Foods. And if you guys ever been up there, you know that that Whole Foods up there, most of those drivers, a big percent of those drivers that you see are like Indians, a lot of them. And I remember I was sitting in the uh, passenger seat and he just kept, my trainer just kept making all these, you know, just racial remarks about these guys. He was telling it to me. And you know, I ignored him. He just kept going on and on and on about them, talking about how they don't belong here, they need to go back to their country, they need to go back where they came from, they don't belong here, they don't belong here, and it was starting to irritate me, you know, it took everything that I had, you know, not to cuss them out, because 
I don't come from hate. You know, I don't believe in hating people of other minorities. Like I care for white people. I care for black. I care for all kinds of people. You know, I don't have hatreds in my heart, you know. So that night, you know, I learned, you know, the kind of person that he was. Now, the only reason why I didn't request to get off that truck right then and there is because I knew I only had about two weeks left until I would have my 240. So, you know, I just stuck it out. But for those last two weeks, I didn't say a single word to him. You know, I only spoke, you know, when spoken to. But other than that, I didn't say a single word because I'm just not, I can't be around, you know, people like that. You know, it's sad because this guy, my secretary, he wasn't even from here either. So for him to say that, like, he just had a lot of nerve. But yeah, just, it's just crazy out here. But, you know, it is sad that, you know, truck drivers, you know, feel that they're entitled, you know, especially like the white people, no offense, you know, not all white people, but some of them. But like the reality is, you know, we're all out here on this road doing the same thing. You know, we might make more than others, some might make less, but we're all out here at the end of the day doing the same thing. We're out here for the same purpose you know, to provide for this country. So what difference does it make, you know, if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, you know, what difference does it make? It really shouldn't matter, you know? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just end this. But yeah, just just know if you're coming out here, racism is still out here, and it's sad. Like I always tell you guys, y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe.